12 News Now on WPRI.com. I'm Ted Nisi. Well, the annual financial results are in for Rhode Island's two largest hospital groups, Lifespan and Care New England, and both are in the black, but both acknowledge they wouldn't be if it weren't for a lot of federal relief funds that have come into the hospital groups due to the pandemic. Over at Lifespan, which owns Rhode Island Hospital, as well as uh, the Miriam, Bradley, and Newport, total revenue for the year was $2.8 billion, and they took in $89 million as operating income, which is the equivalent of a profit at a private company. Then over at Care New England, which owns women and infants, Kent and Butler, total revenue was $1.25 billion. Their operating income was $16 million, but they had had a loss the year before, so that was definitely an improvement for them. In both cases, they said they were happy uh, to be in the black and they appreciated the relief funds, but they also are struggling with a healthcare worker shortage. Uh, we have much more on WPRI.com, including executive compensation for the prior year, which is now available through tax filings. For 12 News Now, I'm Ted Nisi on WPRI.com.